of the powers vested in me by this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait a minute. The music. I forgot it in the car. Uh, it's a tape of me for the occasion, sir. It'll just take a minute. All right, but hurry. Is this your car? It's my husband's. We just got married. Congratulations. So where's your husband? Just a minute, miss. I want to ask you a few questions. About what? About the murder of your father. Suspect fleeing south on 121, requesting backup. Some husband. Good for each other. Hoffs! I'm coming, I'm coming. Here, Hanson. Clear your schedules up. I'm putting you two on special detail. 
You guys know about the Stafford murder with the two kids from Canyon High? No. It's Romeo and Juliet. You're gonna love it. Corey Stafford, Dean Skipper wanted to get married. The girl's father had a different idea. Then one day the boy shows up at the house. He won't leave without the girl. They fight. Dean shoots his would-be father-in-law when the old man tries to throw him out of the house. Told you you'd love it. The Illinois State Police caught the girl yesterday in a wedding chapel. But they didn't catch Dean? He got away. They don't know where he is. You two guys are going to bring Corey back. And I don't have to remind you that she's a minor, and while she's in your custody, her safety is your responsibility. Thanks for not reminding us. The tickets, your itinerary, and your per diem are in that envelope. Per diem? Expenses, Penhall. I know what per diem is. I just want to know how much. Yes! You guys leave immediately. The Kim, does it need to be me? I mean, how come not Hanson, Ryoki? You, uh, got a problem, Pinho? Trouble on the home front. What, Dorothy? I got that girl right here. Where'd you learn to pack? You got no toothpaste, you got no razors. Jeez, I'm in a hurry, okay? Talk about hurry. Next time you abandon me, give me a little notice. Uh, Penhall, we got a cab waiting for us outside. How come five days? It only takes three hours to fly there. We're gonna go over this again? I told you, she does not like to fly. You cannot force a prisoner on an airplane if he or she refuses to fly. Why you and not Hanson or Aoki with no family to consider? What family? It's just me and you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. It's just that we've never been apart before, that's all. Except for the two years you dumped me for Todd Rubach. And I don't like the idea of sleeping without you. I sleep... I sleep on the couch. Well, it's just... we got to wait until we're sure. That's, That's when we, we made a mistake last time. time. <clears throat> All right, I got to go. Fine. Well, call me. I'll call you. Every two hours? Every two hours? Kiss. I don't think she'll give you any trouble. She was up all night writing love poems to her boyfriend. Her husband. Yeah, right. You got anything on him? A reported sighting of a car that matched his heading south on the interstate. He's probably headed to Florida. Corey, officers Hoffs and Penhall. Hi. Nice to meet you. We got a car waiting to take you to the bus terminal. I'll sign her over to you right now. Platform 13, now boarding. Platform 13, now boarding. Thanks for the sweater. Oh, no problem. Doug, why'd you pack so much? I didn't. Thanks. Cycle world? Closest thing they had to vote. It was either that or Farmer's Almanac. Did you just buy that? Yeah, with well, my per diem. And just what do you plan on eating with? My hands. Relax. I'm a big boy. I can handle my own money. I've never seen this part of the country before. You want some gum? How much money do you have left? Relax, I'm fine. Excuse me, but isn't that our bus pulling out?
Excuse me. Do you want the window or aisle? Window, please. Okay. What do you suppose that's all about? Well, she's a juvenile offender, ma'am, and we're transporting her back to her hometown. Have no fear, ma'am. We're skilled in police science and the protection of the public. Call her when we stop for dinner. Are you married? No. I'm in hell. Man, there he is. Who? Orion. Orion, who? See that line of stars? Just above the patch of city lights? That's Orion. He's my pal. My aunt introduced me to him when I was a little girl. You should have seen how bright the stars were above her house on the south shore of Lake Skeen. Orion, so bright in the sky you could read by him. I love that house. And now I can share it with my prince. Some prince. <laughs> you don't understand what we have. You don't know. We knew the first second we looked into each other's eyes. When he touched my hair, and I stood beside him. I couldn't even remember my own name. When he kisses me, I feel it all the way down to my socks. He takes my breath away, and I just want to give him everything. You got this whole thing all wrong. You're only 16 years old. Sixteen. You two are supposed to date, maybe go steady, go to a couple sock hops, the prom, and then you're supposed to drift apart when you go away to college. You don't understand. Nobody does. Now, what I understand is that you and Dean took this thing way too far. Killed your father. You two are going to spend your honeymoon in separate cells. Doug, you can order more. I'm sure they didn't run out. Oh, I'm full. I'm just picking. You get enough to eat, Corey? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you don't have to call us sir and ma'am, Corey. We have names. Uh, I have to make my call now. Uh, you need to go with Officer Haas for any reason? No, I, I went before we left the last place. Well, I didn't. <laughs> meet you guys back at the bus. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Person to person, collect. 
from Doug Penhall. Doug, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm calling you like you asked. Person to person collect? What are we, millionaires? You know how much this call's gonna cost? I'll cut it short, okay? The bus is about to pull out anyway. You know how I hate to be in this house alone? I want to be with you. Well, I want to be with you too, but uh, I can't be in two places now, can I? Tell her to put on one of your shirts. Tell her to sleep in it. That way she won't feel so lonely. She can inhale your essence. Uh, Dorothy? Yes? Why don't you go to the closet, you know, you, you could get out one of my t-shirts and, and you could wear it to bed. And that way, well, you could inhale my, well, you know, you, you it's got my smell on it. Doug, that's so sweet. You're such a sweetheart. Well, I don't know, that, that's the kind of guy I am. Now tell her you love her. Uh, Dorothy? You know I love you, don't you? Yeah. You go ahead with your work. Call me when you can. Call collect. I don't care. Okay. I will. Good night. Good night. Thanks. My pleasure. Open a window. Sealed shut. Air condition. She's bus sick. I knew we should have rented a car. I'm starting to feel dizzy. I gotta get off this bus. Jude, it is our responsibility to deliver her in safety and in comfort, not to see how far under budget we can come in. I think I'm going to be sick. Jude! Corey! We'll be taking the exact same route, but with the stopovers, it's going to be an extra day or so. Yeah, that's fine. How's Corey feeling? Oh, she's better now that she's off the bus. Penhall wants to know if the department will buy him a new pair of pants. Forget it. We'll pay to have the old ones clean. <laughs> oh, that's great. He'll love that. How's the money holding up? Pretty good. Uh, we got money back on those bus tickets, and the subcompact we're renting won't be too much of a strain. Come on, Jude. We're all gassed up. Okay, Captain. Gotta go. The car's ready. Yeah. Bye-bye. 
Thanks. What do you say about my pants? It didn't sound promising. Penhall? Where's the subcompact? It's in the trunk. Oh, come on. You want to drive across the heartland of America in an import car? Doug, move out of my way. I'm going to turn this thing no, no, in. Just listen. I, I got the weekend rates, right? Unlimited mileage, no drop-off charge for a luxury car, huh? Penhall! No, no, no. Listen, Jude. Just hear me out. Now, we jam into a subcompact with the windows rolled up, starts closing in on us. Corey here, she starts getting dizzy, right? She wants to stretch out, but there's not enough room, so she starts turning green. Now, we'd like to roll down the windows, but it's raining. And we're kicking ourselves because we could have got the full package, and she would be lying back in the full, plush, velvet interior with climate control and... Sleeping like a gingerbread girl. How long have you been doing this? What, being a cop? About a year and a half. Yeah? Uh, how is it? It's all right, most of the time. You must worry your boyfriend half to death. Or is he a cop, too? Sorry. I was just curious. Well, I'm not really involved with anyone at the moment. I, it's kind of hard with the hours I keep. Is that a reason? Yeah. There's always time for love. You think Cleopatra didn't have a job? I feel really sorry for you. Don't feel sorry for me. Corey, you know what the easiest thing in the world to do is? Fall in love. People have been doing it for forever. It's not that special. What's special is having the good sense to wait until it's right. I mean, if, if I took off with every guy I ever thought I was in love with, I'd... You'd probably be a happier person. I'd probably be a miserable divorced mother of three. And I am a very happy person. Yeah, sure. You're in for some tough times, girl. At least I'm not gonna have to face them alone. You better get it together, Corey. There are no co-ed prisons. If they catch Dean, you might not see him forever. Don't bet on it. No junk food. That's what got me sick to begin with. This place has a nice restaurant. Can't we get some regular food? Oh, I'll try anything once. You coming, Jude? No. Why don't you two just go ahead? I'm going to go take a nice, long, hot shower and relax. Okay. I'll meet you back up in the room. and eat like normal people? We're not normal people. If I take off the cuffs, do you promise not to try anything? 
Okay. I just don't want to embarrass any of those people in there. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. What are you doing in Doug Penhall's room? I'm waiting for him to use the bathroom. You can't wait outside? No, he handcuffed me at the bedpost. Dorothy! Dorothy, wait, 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 wait! Let me explain! You rotten, stinking son of... No, no, listen, no, it's Corey. You know, Corey the prisoner? Hoff's better! Be in that room. Oh, uh, Judy? Yeah, of course she's here. Oh, then put her on. Well, I... Well, you know, she, I, I mean, she's here, but she's not here right now. But when she gets in, I'll have her call you, okay? Douglas! And the next time you handcuff someone in the bedpost, there better be more than one person. Boy, she doesn't trust you worth a damn. Who is all right, Dorothy, you listen to me and you shut up, all right? Uh, yes, Judy is not here. I lied. And there's a girl handcuffed to my bed. But nothing's going on, all right? I'm just doing my job. You got that? Nothing is going on. <laughs> all you got to do is explain these things to me. Call me when you got a minute. I knew it was too good to be true. What is it now, Dorothy? How's Corey? Who is this? It's a guy who's got your partner. Well, let me speak to Corey. No, no. You let me speak to Officer Hoffs. It's me. Just do what he says, okay? Put Corey on. Baby? What do you want? What are we talking about here? I, I just want her back, man. That's all I want. Well, I want to make a trade. All right. 
We can do that. I don't want anything else. Hey, uh, I'm kind of nervous here myself, you know? What do you say we both promise not to do anything stupid, huh? Uh, don't you worry about me. You just worry about yourself. So we, we can do this without any problems. Put Corey back. Are you all right? Listen, this guy, he's not, not being too friendly or anything, is he? No. Good. Listen, do I sound okay? I'm kind of nervous. You're doing great. Be back in a couple minutes, okay? Sure, you want to add kidnapping to your problems? I don't care about that right now. I just want to be with her. I just want her back. I can't believe this. Your boyfriend is really nuts, you know that? My husband... Forget about that husband crap. He's up to his ears now. Well, what will they do to him if they catch him? When they catch him? Uh, murder one? Kidnapping an officer? That ought to be good for about two consecutive 20-year terms. What if he had to do it? Don't give me that. Maybe he was protecting me. What if some guy on the street were choking me and he wasn't going to stop and Dean had to, had to beat him or shoot him to get him to let go? But it wasn't some guy on the street your father. I'm really scared. I feel like he can see me. Can he see me? Who? My father. I feel like my daddy's watching me all the time now. Like he's, he's looking down and he's still keeping Dean and me apart. Like you, you guys catching me? And bringing me back home. And leaving Dean out there alone. Maybe he is, Corey. I don't know. He... Maybe he wants you... To be home. Maybe he wants Dean to pay for what he's done. I did it. I, sh I shot him. He 
was choking him. And he wasn't going to stop. He was just going to keep going until he killed him. Right there. Right in front of me. He was holding him down. And his head to the floor. And he was looking up at me with no air in him. He was crying for help, but no sound would come out of him. He wasn't gonna stop. I had to do it, he was gonna kill him. Look, you guys are in deep, deep trouble. But you're both youthful offenders. You know, there are circumstances here. You you could cop a plea. You you could you could get a bargain, you know, you could get it reduced to involuntary manslaughter. But we'd still be apart. I'm sorry, but it's just me and Dean now. I'm sorry. <laughs> miles. What are you doing? Corey, I gotta do this. Give me the keys. That was not the deal. Dean. I gotta do this. Take my car. Where are the keys? In my pocket. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Yes! How long till we get there, do you think? A few hours. Uh, look, I understand what you're feeling, but it's exactly what are you planning on doing with me? We need you. No one's gonna bother us as long as we got you. Nobody knows you've got me except my partner. You know, I really don't think we should take her all the way. Twenty-five miles on his tops. Pull over and we'll call him for some backup. You don't need any backup. Well, we're never gonna catch him in this thing. We'll catch him. I just don't think we need a squad of county cops. He kidnapped a police officer. He's wanted for murder. I know, I know. Doug, pull the car over right now. Look, he didn't do it. He didn't shoot Corey's father. She did. She did? Yeah, she did. The old man went nuts when Dean wouldn't leave. He was going to kill him. He was choking him to death, so she shot him. It was self-defense. Oh, you believe her? Yeah, I do. He loved her so much he was willing to take the fall for her. If we call on the county cops, any chance they had of beating that original rap would be out the window. They will never see the light of day again. Doug, the boy held me at gunpoint. He was desperate. He didn't plan on doing that. It just happened. I just think these kids deserve better than that, you know? Oh, and who made you the George? You know what I'm talking about! I got it all figured out. They were headed for her aunt's house when they got caught. I think I know where it is. If I can just find the right star. The right star? Lake Skeen. It's about 200 miles from here. All we gotta do is find a tiny little house on the south shore with the brightest star in the sky directly above it. Oh, that's just great, Magellan, but how do we know which house? Can't miss it with the Lincoln parked in front and Orion whispering down the chimney. Well, you're a true romantic, Doug Penhall. Thanks.
my aunt told me when I was a little girl that this place was only big enough for a little angel like me. And any devil I might want to bring along. Shouldn't we pull a shade or something? There aren't any. You see the way they kissed? Yeah, how could I miss it? <sighs> People don't even kiss like that in the movies. <sighs> I wish I could feel that. Me too. Kid was right. Look at that star. All right, let's go do this. What? Maybe they're, uh, you know. Right. Well, you better go check the bedroom. What do you say we hang out on the porch and gaze at the stars, huh? Doug, it's four o'clock in the morning. We've been driving all night. I've been driving all night. Whatever. Let's do this. Oh, oh. All right, one hour. Uh, you better make that two hours. Been here all night?
Hoffs! You know, I just read your report. Have you got a publisher for this piece of fiction? It's a work in progress, sir. Hmm. You know, I got to tell you, I'm really surprised. I mean, I can see Penhall pulling a stunt like this. But I'd never expect it from you. Well, neither would I. So what happened? I don't know. I. They just didn't seem like criminals anymore, Captain. I felt bad for them. Is the DA going to look into the self-defense case? It's a good possibility. Homicide's already asking questions like why her father had skin tissue under his nails. Yeah, and why Dean's been walking around with a black eye and a busted rib since that night. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I guess we will. Uh, by the way, uh, where is Penhall? Oh, Dorothy was driving him crazy. I think he went to go find some peace and quiet somewhere. <laughs> Thank you.